Hello, I'm Congresswoman Zoe Lofgren. Even though I can't be with you in person today, the work you're doing at RightsCon is dear to me. It's a chance for people to come together and discuss ways to protect an open internet and the rights of its users. As we know, the future of a free internet is at stake. There are broad and serious challenges to the fundamentals that have enabled the internet to be the transformational technology that we know. Around the world, totalitarian regimes want to control it. Others use it to spy on citizens, suppress expression and dissent, or to attack public and private institutions. Recent court decisions striking down net neutrality threaten the basic principles that make the Internet a success. Big content, as my friend Senator Ron Wyden calls copyright maximalists, wanted to censor the Internet and dismantle its architecture with SOPA. And increasingly, corporate and government entities want to monitor and mine it for a broad spectrum of information about individuals. When it comes to the future of the Internet, the struggle we are engaged in for a free and open Internet is a turf war on a global scale. Proposals are gaining traction to break up control of the Internet and balkanize it, but these proposals often hide deeper agendas to further control access, content, expression, and connection to others around the world. Those of us who work for Internet freedom have many challenges ahead. I want you to know that I'm your partner in the effort to fight for innovation, free speech, and privacy. Congress obviously can't create technology, but the laws we establish can help foster innovation, growth, and investment in research. Those policies can empower and spur entrepreneurs to create new industries. Laws can determine how technology is permitted to develop, and when they're ill-considered, they can also put the brakes on all of these desirable matters. That's why I'm working in Congress to reform unwarranted surveillance laws. It's why I'm working to bring about real EPCA reform that stops warrantless searches. It's why I'm working to allow people to use the devices and content that they own as they see fit without violating copyright law. And it's why I'm working to advocate for multi-stakeholder internet governance. But I can't make it happen on my own. As you conclude your conference, don't list, let this be the end of your activism. Call your senators and member of Congress. Tell them where you stand on important Internet freedom issues. For those of you attending this conference from around the world, I hope you will take renewed energy back with you to be advocates for a free and open Internet. We live in an age where people connect globally by simply touching a device in the palm of their hand, empowered by online advances that have enriched the world scientifically, culturally, and economically. The Internet is a thriving and vibrant engine for cultural and economic growth because it empowers people to connect and share information globally with unlimited restrictions. It's up to all of us to keep it that way.